Oh, hi everyone, just a, just a quick video. Sorry about the scruff here, I just had my uh, hat on. The Capri's being delivered. If it's gonna fit in here, I don't know. Don't look like there's a lot of room left, to be honest. But he's literally just on his way. He's just about ready to pull up. So then we're gonna get it unloaded and get in. Can't film it being unloaded outside, else, because I had a bollocking about that before, filming outside. So I'll catch back up with you once it's in here, and then I'll give you a video of it all the way around. There's a poor old girl. Looking sorry for herself. <laughs> catch back up with you in a minute. All right, hi, welcome back. So I'm looking at the screen with the cameras. The lens is actually this side. Anyway, here she is. Well, I don't think there's anything to be super proud about. It's only a original 1.6, but... I'm gonna show you around it, and I want you lot to leave it down in the comments, what should we get done with this? Do I, one, cut it up to repair Buster? I've had a quick look and I think it's, it's a bit too good to cut up. Do I, one, as it is, just put it back up for sale and I know for a fact I make a profit. Or three, do I, do the little bits of the welding that it needs. Sand it, prime it, paint it, stick it together with the spares that I have. I do have an interior. I'm, I need to look at the paperwork, see what model this actually is. I don't know if it's going to be the right interior, but an interior is better than no interior, isn't it? And then sell it on and make some... Some... <laughs> Um, yeah, and then put that money into actually buying the individual panels for that. So, I'm going to take you through, show you, and then you leave it down in the comments, let me know what you think. I'm also saying this because he's probably going to be watching it as well. I've got a mate called Richard, and last night I was actually around his and I shown him the video of the Cortina. And he was like, if I'm planning on cutting this up and I'm thinking about saving the Cortina, how much of a rotten, rotten car that is, he said, I've got basically a screw loose. So, see what you all think. So the video's gonna be a little bit different this time because I'm actually filming on my phone because it'll just be easier just to edit it on the phone and then rather than mess around getting the um, laptop out. Right, so first off, it's got a pattern wing this side. You know it's a pattern wing. For one, there's no, uh, no, like, there's a certain shape underneath the front of the wing. It isn't, to be honest, a bad wing. I mean, the gap isn't too bad. And the gap going down the wing is, is all right. I suppose. <clears throat> so the repair here, which to be honest, I think I'll just cut that out and redo it. That could be done quite a bit better, to be honest. It's got a decent gap across the bonnet. <coughs> Bonnet's pretty good in the corners where they always rot. Although it has actually got a few minute pinholes on the front of this bonnet. And the same here. They ain't nothing to repair. That's that's pretty easy. So just had to put the bonnet up. Uh, I'll show you underneath the bonnet. Same again. It ain't too bad. That that there is probably just a seam sealer. Cut that and then clean it. Underneath it's it's a little bit scabby, but it's just surface rust. And that'll probably clean up pretty good, to be honest. Same that side. Ceiling split. Right, coming to under the engine bay. Again, like I said, it was just a, a 1.6. Come to this side. Obviously, again, you can tell it's a pattern wing. 
so what? It's, it's a decent-ish fit. Seems pretty solid round here. It looks like it's had some kind of repair here. You'd have to investigate and dig into that. See what... It's had a lip rail this side. You can actually see... The, you can actually see the, uh, the... The edge of the actual inner wing. So it's had the original lip cut off. And this one welded on top. You can actually see the... See just here. So that would, if the wing was taken off, that would be cut out and then a plate welded in. So it's got the original uh, seam where it comes down. And then it also would have to have, as a lip, obviously that comes from the top of the bulkhead that runs across. So that would have to be done. Again, nothing too bad. Front chassis looks pretty good coming across i say to be honest i just had a quick look at this before i decided i was going to buy it but i think it's pretty good come here as well Th that there they do normally puff up quite bad that to be honest it's a, it's a tiny little scab just there at the bottom it started to puff probably ought to dig that out and weld a small little plate in <clears throat> front cross member is pretty good so you know, i don't think they even actually rot apart from right at the bottom in the corners where it serves the uh, water trap right. heater bowl is pretty good well it's really good to be honest that there, I think that's just like surface. If you were to scrape here, I don't think it'll go through or anything. The same in this corner, it's had a plate, usual places where an inner wing rots on a Capri, as anyone would know. There'd be an hole at the top there, and he's sorting. This has still got its original wing on this side. As you see, the spot welds. Although it is puffing up in places, so I'd have to sort that. It's had a repair to the suspension top. Again, I think that could be done quite a bit better than that. So that would have to be redone. Come down to this headlamp bowl, the top of it. So you can see it's had some kind of repair, but it is also got an hole underneath. Same again, just usual Capri places where they rot. It's had some kind of repair here at the front on the wing. Again, that would have to be sorted. And I don't know if it's had... Yeah, it's, it's all intact. There's a certain shape that I was talking about. So that's in pretty good condition. Same on top of the wing. It's had, it doesn't look like it's had any repair. I think that's just the paint that's been ground down by the look of that. It's had a tiny plate welded in there. That would have to be sorted as well because I don't like it when you see a Capri where you've got no seam. You're supposed to have a seam just here which matches up with the inner wing. Uh, the wing to the foot valance, sorry. Tiny repair to do there. But other than that, the front valance looks in pretty good condition. Still the original one, it's spot welded on. See, it's pretty good. It's got a bit of a dent there, that's sort. That's nothing too bad. And like I said again, even though it's a pattern wing, that's quite a good fit. Just needs uh, just a tiny little bit more fettling. We'll have the hole at the top, get that sorted. Headlamp bowls. Again, it's had the usual repair on the edge where it meets the wing. That's nothing. A little bit scabby up the top. And the headlamp bowls, to be honest, are in really good condition. Uh, even the lips and seams where they join the valance. Same this side. It's in really good condition. 
Nice work around. <coughs> <coughs> the roof. The roof seems in really good condition. Even the sunroof, uh, sunroof seal seems in really good condition as well, to be honest. Come around the back. It doesn't look like it's had the usual repair and the usual rot area. That's the same for both sides. That seems all in good condition. They usually rot around this window channel and all. That seems pretty good. Uh, just got to put on the lever. into cardboard not anything else before it damages the door <laughs> right the uh following on from that repair that's been done on top this air post is <laughs> shit, to be honest that there's just just stabber but it looks as if it's had plate welded on the front on here as well while the door's been off so that would need to be sorted the doors doors seem in really good condition all the way down from what I can see they look good even in all the corners looking on the inside of the door it doesn't look like it's had any repairs <coughs> oh it has now I don't know if that's had a, it looks like it may have had a small wheel repair, tiny repair maybe. <clears throat> looks all good, this side, that looks all original. So maybe... That looks even, that looks really good there and all, so I don't know if it will may have just been a tiny little pinhole, it's been welded up, it's burnt the paint, I don't know. That's uh, investigating to that more. Looks all good. It's all good down here. Same again, they usually rot all in these areas. It's obviously a water trap. But it seems still what it seems. That looks all pretty good. The original. Same goes for that front. That looks all good. I'll show you inside the car after I've been around. I need to find somewhere to prop the boot up. There's no boot shocks on it at the minute. Same again to this side. You can see it looks all good and original. I think it's just uh, where it's just been stood outside. It's just got surface rust. To be honest, bit of a patina look in it. So, don't look too bad. <laughs> Again, round here, the roof looks in good condition. A post coming down here looks in good condition. And this uh, scuttle panel, this side, also really good. Apart from here, there is a tiny bit of a hole, as you can see there. And the lip has also started to uh, deteriorate there. But, that don't look too bad, That that's nothing to sort there and there. Again, you can see that gap looks really good, which you can expect because it's original wing, still spot welded on. So that's the gap that it should be. Really good. Lines look really nice with the door. And obviously, decent-ish gap going down. I think the door could do a slight adjustment. I think that gap should be a tiny bit smaller than that. Same again, looks all really good. Now this door does look really good and original. It's even still got the seam sealer in the corners. Some sort of Gravitex on the bottom. Don't have to sand it off. It's had a... I'm guessing this will have some sort of filler in the door. It's got the hole just here for the uh, trims. And there's no studs, so I'm guessing they've been ground off and welded up. Same with the lock. That won't take nothing to uh, take off though, because it's just a little plate. 
and then you can just file the shape back into it. Hey up. Maybe it is an L. Maybe. Save that. Yeah, inside the doors look all good. Look like they've been wax oiled before. So again, looks all really good. That there's supposed to be a hole. It's like a drain hole or something. Following it up. Yeah, I'm happy with this door. This door is really good. Same again in the corners. Following it all the way up. No signs of any rot. It's a tiny bit of surface rust, but that's nothing. And this A post does seem in good condition. As you can see, even here, they look like scabs, but they seem in good. Following it all the way down. Looks all good. Same in this corner. Yeah, same in this corner. Same again, you got all the seams. So they look all good. Following it up also, looks all good. Bit of surface at the top, it's nothing. Same again, normally rot on these corners where the water gets trapped, they're all good. Following it up, headlining's in all right condition. I don't remember this cup being here, but that won't take nothing to sew up. The sun visor's in good condition. Right, let's get to, uh, oh, show you this first. Looks all right here. It may, it may actually go through there if you scrape it. It is a little bit puffed, but it may be it's uh, just a bit of damp underneath. Don't know. I'm not, I'm not bothered scraping it yet. Same there, looks all good. And all there, looks all good. Right, come to a... Uh, uh, the bits that are really letting it down. As you can see here, it's been all plated. Right. Yeah, it's been plated there, there. Following it across. It's had this inner seal welded. To be honest, if I did keep it and... If I was to keep it, and I'll explain at the end what what I might be doing um, but if I was to keep it to sell on I think this will need, this will need redoing it don't welding ain't that good to be honest as you can see it's also got a hole there right. same here there's a hole Here, some sort of half of the arm that obviously won't be staying on. Hole in the corner that won't be nothing to weld up. Got a plate there and all, and I'd have to take the seam seal her off but I've got a feeling it's had another tunnel bit welded in. I don't remember ever seeing this shape here on a tunnel. So maybe that's not part of a capri, I don't know. It's just been welded in. Let's have a look into that. <laughs> I don't know if it's I don't know if that's an original Original key, I don't know. 
You know that from factory? Or if it's like a Capri Club sort of thing, I don't know. Steering wheel's in decent condition. Still got a centre cap. I actually need one of these to be honest for um, Christine. Yeah, I didn't, the arches, obviously you can see they're looking decent condition and there's a reason for that. Look on the inside, you can actually see it has had new arches put on. That's the same for both sides. So it's had two new arches, which that's not, not really a bad thing. They look quite straight. So, I'm going to uh, get the jack ready. Oh, I didn't show you the, the full up on the other side, did I? Right, come around this side. Same again. Oh, that corner looks all pretty good. Right. Floor just here. It's had a plate. That ain't nothing too bad. Inner seal here looks all all good. Looks all factory. Moving down to the seam sealer. That looks all factory you know. It's had um a plate welded on the seat. Same again, that would have to be done. That has to be redone. It's uh, puffed up on the drive on the driver's seat. Why did I say that? On the inner side it's puffed up. Right. This bit ain't pretty evil. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, that's see what I mean about the other side. You don't have that shape. Right, anyway, yeah, it's had a plate welded in the floor just here. It's had a plate welded on the inner sill just here. And also, I don't know what that is out of, but that looks like a floor pan out of something. So that would have to be cut out and redone. It's also got a plate there. And that would also be resorted and all. Can't really have that. Big old, you'd have a load of wind noise or whatever coming in. Following it up. That don't look original. It's got a Z. Looks like it's got a Z in it. It's supposed to have like three lines. So, I don't know what's going on here. But, um, let's have a look into that. Yeah, I say it's still got. Okay, see, I some sort of aftermarket radio. Right. Ah. That gap on the back side is massive. So the door, to be honest, needs to come back. Right, hi there, welcome back. Right, that's our jacked up. Just get a quick look at the inner wings. Same again. This is why I'm not so concerned about that puffed bit. You can't even see it puffed up this side. So I think that'd be a minute repair. As you can see there, it's still got original for balance. Right. Same again, looks all solid in this corner. Tiny, tiny little puff. Why not focusing? Right. Anyway, right, you can see what's going on underneath now with that. So that would have to be all. Maybe it has to redo that. 
I don't know. Let's add a plate while you're on there. Right, let's give you a look underneath. Right, let's have a look at these seals because if I was to cut it up, I'd be using the seals, hopefully, on Rusty. So, seems pretty good. Um, a little bit of an hole there. In there. So, that's our small repair. By the look of that. I was trying to work out if this side is the original seal. I think it is. Not too sure. It feels like there's a bit of filler there, so maybe. Quite a big gap there. That big gap then it goes small, so maybe the door just needs a slight adjustment. Right. Yeah, show you underneath. I don't want to get under too too much because obviously you rely and you relying on the jack. Ah, so that is original. That joint piece in the middle. Rusty has got that, and I assumed that uh it it had a brake line replaced in the past. Because the Capris I've had have never been this old, and it's usually one whole piece. So, yeah, that's quite nice to know. Uh, here's that bit from underneath. I suppose you probably could leave it like that and just underseal it, but we're not looking right. I don't know. Not too bad. Still got a few bits on it. But the floors don't look too bad from underneath, to be honest. So maybe the plating you can see inside, maybe it's been plated on top. I don't know. But Now we're getting to some rot. Just move across a bit. Right. Yeah, this is the original seal because look, you can see see blue paint. So, whether well, if it's had a repair or not, I don't know. But right. To the uh, leaf spring area, that would need that would need some work. As you can see there, so that's got a bit of rot. That ain't nothing, to be honest. That that's that's a piece of piss to to sort. Now, if I try and look with a video and hope that I'm filming, because I can't even see underneath. Right, well, yeah, the chassis rail looks looks okay, to be honest. Looks scabby, but it don't look rotten. By scabby, I mean like just surface, like get a wire wheel on it and then clean up. Uh, still plenty of surface rust around there. Right, just lower the jack down, I'll jack either side up. Right, jack up on the driver's side now. Oh, same again. This is at a, that's the original seal because it's blue paint and all. I'm sure, I'm sure he told me it had, it had a new seal. Oh, well, okay. Okay now. 
All right, okay, so ignore that. That's just a repair from the floor. Got a... <clears throat> Plenty of filler in here, so that would have to be sorted. Floors, floors added just there. And that's where that big hole is at the front that you can see. Right, okay, just quickly turn around. Ugh. Right. So it's, had a, it's had work done here and all on the leaf spring angle area. That, I suppose, would, would probably be all right. Same there as the other side. That would need repair. Oh, I'm guessing that's the repair that he was talking about. So it's had a bit of an... Get added in at the back. Just there. Okay, I'd like to just sort that. Even I did plan on using the outer seals on the rooster, let's repair that so they're done properly. Right, just come around the back to show you the chassis rails at the back dead quick, and then I'm gonna have to end the video because the phone's on like 15%. <laughs> So yeah, it's still got a fuel tank on the back. It's got a bit of a dent in it, but so that don't really matter. Back balance. I don't know if that's just tons of filler that's been put on, hiding something, or I oh, mean that filler's quite thick to be honest. You see it's had a it's had a patch put in here. Looking at the rear chassis rails, that's just that's just scabby. That's just under seal that's coming off. Chassis rails don't look look bad to be honest. They look pretty good. Uh, okay, right. Well, it's a little bit puffed up here. Maybe it's had a plate put on there. I don't know, but but that won't be nothing to sort. That little bit at the end. When you look at Rooster, where the, the whole chassis rails add it, at least with this, you would have something to work with. So it's had a bottom. You can see there where it's had the bottom with the quarter put on. Again, that's been done. That's, that's crap, to be honest. Same here, you can see actually moving so that would have to be rolled in on it would need a lip welding round on the inner tub it looks like that's been cut off when the arch has been put on so that needs sorting <sighs> all right quick show you this side well, i've got a bit of video Left, so a plate put on that inside. That ain't nothing. Saw that. Same again. Chassis rail looks a little bit puffed up, but it's there at least. Cool. All right. All right. Before I give a little quick talk about the car, here's the paperwork that actually came with it. It's quite a bit of paperwork, to be honest. You see, a few, there's quite a few stickers and handbook and all that sort of stuff. Some old tax discs. Got all the um, the old log book and Vintag. So, what's that? That's right, okay. So yeah, there's quite a few bit of paperwork there with it. 
So yeah, I think probably about time to wrap the video up. Now I'll give you all just a, a look around the potential new project. But Rusty is still a priority. Um, so yeah, now you've seen the video, you've seen what welding has been done and what welding needs to be done or redone. Uh, yes. Would you want to see this also on the channel? Or should I just do this up on the side without anyone um, seeing it? Would there be anyone that wants to see it done? Like I say, I've not made my mind up yet if, which is why I want you lot to put it down in the comments what you'd like to see. Do I cut her up and just cut my losses, cut it up and repair Rusty with it? I know I've got another car or I know someone that would want the front end headlamp bowls, bonnet, and I do know people that want a few panels off it already. Um, which I've used what obviously I want. Or, like I said, do I do the bits of welding it needs, give it a quick paint job, put it together and sell it on and let someone else enjoy the fun out of it. I will obviously also make a bit of profit out of it and with that profit I can put that towards something else or put it towards Worcester. Um, or just as it is, I've got a spare Pinto. I've got, it's a four speed gearbox, so uh, yeah. I don't even know if the four speed will marry up to the Pinto, I'm not sure. I can't see why not. I think it, it, it was a Pinto gearbox. I can't remember to be honest. Um, so like I say, it's got the axle. I've got, I've got plenty of prot shafts and leave it looking as it is, looking rough, put a windscreen in it, put two front glasses in it, back boot glass, and the bare minimum to have it road legal. Bear in mind, there's this, te as far as I'm aware, it's MOT and tax exempt, but still, for it to be road legal, bare minimum. Um, so yeah, I'd like that bit of advice for you lot, if uh, what you'd like to see, to be honest. Also, you know I'm a Capri man, obviously. I'm not really one for Cortinas. Now, this Capri is bad. To, there's gonna be so many people out there that wouldn't even take the project on. I'll tell you that now. So many people have told me it's beyond saving. It's not. I'm getting there bit by bit, it's, it's getting done. But as for the Cortina, do I really want to, I me, mean, because you gotta think where I am now, you got rent on the place, all that expense adding up. For a Capri, I, I, I don't care. But when it comes to doing the Cortina, I think I will care, to be honest. So the Cortina might be up for sale might but i'd want it to go to obviously the right person that's not going to just take the engine out of it and get rid of the crap basically i want someone that would restore it i doubt there's gonna be anyone that would want to restore it being in a state but from what i gathered from people saying with it being a 2.3 gear auto and an estate and blue with blue interior apparently i was told it is rare so, I don't know. I'm guessing the people out there that's got Cortinas will know, I suppose. But yeah, if there is anyone that would be seriously interested in the Cortina, you can either send me an inbox on Facebook. I normally put my Facebook in the message in anyway. Or just comment. Um, and we can contact and, I don't know, discuss the price, I suppose. I've not had it running. It does turn so far, then lock up. But that was just when I got it, I just had a quick go and then just put it in the garage and left it. So, I don't know, we'll see. I might just keep it there and then eventually do, do the work. I don't know, we'll see. But as the time being, Rusty's priority, this, 
I say, I'm like this, when we just get the cutter out and... Yeah, I don't know. Would be cool to save another one. I mean, because the condition ain't that bad, not really. <laughs> not when you look at Rusty, that's for sure. But yeah, it's pretty cool it comes with the paperwork. So yeah, I'm going to leave that there. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. And leave a comment in the description. Uh, leave a comment, sorry. <laughs> Not the description. Leave a comment on what you'd like to see done with this beast. Yeah. See you in the next one.